In this video, I'll be sharing with you a dress inspired by pillowcases brought to me by my mom. Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to Olives. If you are new here, hi, my name is Olivia and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always stopping by to watch my videos and learning with me. As heard earlier, we'll be making a dress inspired by two pillowcases. My mom came back one day and brought that I should make two skirts for her. And I was like, two skirts? Thinking of unpicking? And now cutting and sewing and I was like okay fine if I'll make it for you then let me make it into a dress right so then I came up with this style since there were two different colors of the pillowcases so the colors gave me the idea of making that dress in this video we'll be recreating this dress I hope you enjoy watching and learning with me do all to like the video subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel join the family without wasting much time let's get right into this video let's know we start i have this leftover materials that i'll be using for this dress and i'll be using the pattern that we drafted last that's that less fitted dress if you haven't watched and you would like to i'll leave the link in the description box okay so i'm going to be alternating the neckline you know we use basic neckline right so i'm going to be alternating it to however i want it i will put the back bodies aside and work on the front from the neck of the front bodies i'll go in by one inch i'll come down by roughly 6.75 i want a v neckline for the front so i'll take it this way and use a curve to just shape it down to the 6.75 So this is how my neckline looks like i'm going to put the shoulder of the front bodies together with the back bodies so i can shape the neckline of the back as well just like this and i'll mark here now for the back bodies i'm going to come down by one inch and also connect the neckline together So this is how it also looks like. I'll cut this out, then we'll move on to working on the facing. The width of the facing is going to be 2 inches. You can do even 3 inches, okay? Now I'm going to come down from the neckline here by also 2 inches. I'll mark these 2 inches up a little bit. I'm going to connect these two inches like this but the middle part is going to be a bit deep and then it will connect together to meet the other two inches at the side so when you follow however i'm manipulating the curve you get it okay now the way i curved it this is where the bust or our breast will be okay so i want it to be deeper the curve part to go deeper than it is now so i just use my free hand to do that and then i reshaped it with my marker this front facing is different from the one we normally see because this is a v neckline okay however you shape your neckline that is how you are going to follow to make your all-in-one facing okay So that is how it looks now i think i like it the way it is so we'll move on to work on the back bodies i'll align the two sides like this mark the two inches or you can also measure for the center back we should use two inches but i just made use of 2.25 i wanted it deeper now i'm going to pick my ruler and make a straight line like this okay then mark the same two inches just as we did and you are seeing so you see i'm going to connect like this from the straight line to meet the two inches i marked to the midpoint of the angle just like this and reconnect it to the side so you must make sure that there is a blend okay 
So wherever you see a sharp curve, blend it together to have a nice flow. So if you have your front neckline as normal as the back, this is how you go about it unlike the V neckline. I'll move on to trace the facings onto another paper but in case you not make use of the pattern anymore you can just cut out the facing okay I'll later add allowances around the facing so I don't do that while cutting on the fabric So I'll add half inch allowance round. The side is going to take one inch, which will be the same thing on the dress. Now you notice that the lower part of the facing, I did not add any allowance. This is because we don't need it. We just have to knit in round the edge and that will be okay. So after this, I'll cut out and work on the back. On the center back of the facing, I'll add zip extension. After this, we'll move on to work on cutting the fabric and I've placed both fabrics. I'm sure you've already seen the design. So I'm going to place the pattern on it like this. Now I want the front, which is um, the front left to take the yellow material. So I've placed it this way, making sure that the fabric, which is the yellow face upwards, okay, whilst the other one is down. So that means the violet is going to be at the right side. You know, there is a seam line at the center as well, right? Which separates the two colors. So here I'm adding the same allowance I added around the facing. But on the center front, I added about 0.75. I also added 0.75 to the waist. Those are the parts that will be joined together. You can as well make use of half inch. The joining part, I added 0.75 in the sense that after joining, whoever will knit in the dress for me will be able to hold the allowance and knitting it well. So this might be a little bit confusing, especially making sure that the colors flow well. So I'm going to repeat the same thing, but this time around the violet is going to be at the left side. That's for the back bodies. Okay, the opposite will be at the back, if that makes sense. So if yellow is at the left side of the front, violet will be at the left side of the back. So for this reason, I also place the violet upwards and place the pattern on it cut it the same way i cut the front but this time around we are going to add zip extension of one inch to the center back also i want you to note that the right sides of the fabrics are facing okay so make sure that while following whatever i'm doing your fabrics are facing right sides or if you want to make the fabrics to be wrong size facing make sure that you work with wrong size facing throughout even on the skirt patterns okay do note how i also place the patterns okay if you place the front side or the right hand side of the pattern to face the fabric you are going to have something else okay so you see that throughout the right side of the pattern was facing upwards if i could say it that way the tip here is that however you begin continue and end that way so if you begin turning your pattern with the right sides or the right inside facing the fabric make sure that you do that throughout your cutting process right if that makes sense so this is my fabric i'm going to try pinning together so that I can have it wrong side facing just like you wear a dress. So you see my left side, if I wear the dress, my left side have yellow. The opposite side at the back is violet, just as the right side, okay? 
now we'll move on to cutting the skirt okay so this is another thing about the skirt if the right side of my bodice is violet the lower part which is the skirt will be yellow while the left side the lower part will be violet so if you can recall while cutting the bodice i wanted the left side of my bodice to take the yellow material right so now we want the opposite side to be beneath which is the skirt so instead of making sure that the yellow is at the left side the yellow of the skirt is at the left side this time around the left side will take the violet if i'm explaining right i hope you're understanding let me know in the comment section so instead of having yellow like this i'm going to turn it like this so that i can have the violet upwards and i'm going to place my pattern on it add allowance round just like i did for the front bodies i also added more allowance to the lower part of the skirt because i wanted it to be a bit longer than it is now one thing i also make sure i did in my mind was to imagine how the dress would be on me okay so as i place the pattern on it i'll imagine what if i place it on myself where would the color this color be and where would this other color be so i don't make any mistake okay so right now if i place this skirt on me with the left side facing my body and the right side outside i'm going to have the left side of my skirt to be violet while the right side of my skirt to be yellow if you haven't noticed i added the same 0.75 to the center front of the skirt just as the bodies okay so if i pin it together and this is how it looks the front side i don't need to talk much you could see the opposite sides of the front now I'll move on to the back bodies just like we did i'll add zip allowance to the center back so this is how the back also looks like again i'll pin them together for us to see so this is the front opposite sides and the back opposite sides if i place them together just like someone will wear a dress wrong size facing this is what i'm going to have okay i hope you try it out try it out and let me know okay i'll be glad anyways so i'm going to join all these parts together i wanted to join it vertically but i later made them uh, horizontally as in joining the waist only and then later i'll do them vertically then after doing this i went out to knitting everything so this video seems to be long and i have talked a lot now so i'm going to break and we'll have a part two of this tutorial where we'll join everything together fix the facing do all the other things there is one important thing we need to do on the facing around the armhole i marked out 0.2 inches just from the edge of the armhole and i'm going to connect them together and after this i'll trim it off okay this is because we don't want the lining popping out the lining is now the facing popping out so when we trim off the armhole we are going to have everything looking neat right so i'll repeat the same thing for the back right just mark 0.25 from the edge and take it out round okay so i'm going to place it again on the fabric just as we cut i want the yellow to face the left side that's for the front and the opposite side just like we did while cutting the bodies okay so i'm going to repeat the same thing for this as well so yeah that is it i'll move on to join just as i mentioned to join the waist with my 0.75 inches and i'll meet you guys in the second part of this video bye